Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome yet to another exciting After Effects uh, tutorial. And today, uh, this is what we're going to be creating in After Effects uh, with no additional third party plugins used at all. Um, if you look in the description below, I have provided the complete project file. So if you go and uh, just find it on my desktop, the project files. If I can find it, <laughs> um, right, okay. Uh, no, that's not it. Here it is. Okay, so you've got a complete project file as it is here, um, available for you guys to download in the description below. So I have given you options with this. If you're a Cinema 4D user, or you have Cinema 4D uh, on your system, I have given you uh, the full model. Uh, which is here free of charge um, so you can play around and animate uh, until your heart's content um, so that is available for all your C Cinema 4D users um, or people that have got Cinema 4D shall I say uh, uh, available in the project file uh, within the description uh, below uh, but don't fret if you're not a Cinema 4D user and you haven't got Cinema 4D I have created a PNG sequence for you guys of a short animation which you see um, within After Effects behind you so you can still follow along to this tutorial if you wish now also within the project file we've got our TIE Fighter uh, shall I say or our Imperial Fighter whatever you want to call it um, this is also a PNG um, to add the uh, little TIE Fighters coming up now um, and I've also included a star map and also guys some sound effects for you guys so there's a complete set of sound effects for you uh, so you can edit it up in Premiere Pro or Final Cut uh, whatever you choose to uh, use as your editing software so yeah a very very simple effect to do like I've just said no third party plugins needed um, next week we are going to be going very very advanced on the Star Wars tutorials so we are going to be getting as close to uh, this sequence as we possibly can and that is the completed sequence that I've just finished I am in the process of editing the uh, tutorial uh, uh, over the next coming days and hopefully I'll be finished before the end of the week <coughs> so I can get that up on YouTube live um, and you can enjoy that uh, a tutorial and follow along now for that advanced tutorial we will be using some advanced uh, tools and plugins uh, we're going to be going and using a Clarice uh, which was the program used in the original Force Awakens uh, movie uh, that's what they used to create the sequence so we're going to be creating this sequence what well, I've created for you here um, and we're going to be using Clarice to do that so expect that sometime uh, next week uh, hopefully next week shall I say um, yeah, just see how I go with uh, time in uh, completing, um, editing and cutting uh, the tutorial. But for now, we've got this very, very basic one, uh, which is uh, very, very easy to do. So yeah, let's just get cracking. So we're just going to start from scratch and just create a new composition. Uh, keep it 1920 by 1080. Uh, let's knock it up to about 30 seconds and click OK. And then what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to import our assets, uh, which I've obviously uh, provided free in the description below. Um, I always have problems finding it <laughs> on my desktop because I am blind and it is quite late, uh, 11 o'clock at night. No excuse, really. Um, but these, where are you? Where are you? Oh, God. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, here we go. Star Wars project file. So um, I'm going to bring in um, my PNG Star Wars sequence and I'm going to click on the first uh, picture. Make sure PNG sequence is, is selected and then uh, import that. Uh, so we've got it here. Um, and then I'm going to import um, some other assets which are available in uh, the project file, which is this orbit moon and then I'm going to import my PNG um, a TIE fighter shall I say make sure I get the right one I'm sure that's the right one let's just try it no that's not the right one I have another one uh, let's go file import 
file and let me just try and find it for you guys here he is and this is our PNG sequence uh, TIE Fighter ready to go okay so first of all we're going to drop our uh, PNG sequence into our new comp and here this is fully uh, animated for you guys as you can see it's moving and I've even got the stars that fade in for you guys um, that we're going to basically be using so I'm going to come in forward to when the stars start because that's like my reference point and then I'm just going to trim it up trim comp to work area and bada bing bada bosh we've got our uh, cruiser or destroyer uh, moving along now what I'm going to do is because this is moving a little bit fast I'm going to select the layer I'm going to come up to layer uh, I'm come back to time time stretch and I'm just going to push it down to 80 and just make it a little bit longer and just stretch it out my timeline and let's just press play that's a little bit faster so that's not too bad okay um, all the composite stuff you can play around with in Premiere Pro uh, after you've finished the uh, project uh, but for now we're just going to um, duplicate this layer so control D uh, to make it pop more and we're just going to bring our uh, moon should I say uh, above it our planet and I'm going to open this up open up transform bring the opacity down like so just enough so we can see our destroyer and that would be it and I'll place that uh, on top normally you place it on the bottom let's just bring the opacity up just to touch on that maybe a bit more and I'm just going to get my two layers of the destroyer and I'm just going to uh, bring it up to about here and then I'm going to get my mask tool and I'm just going to mask oh not that one let's get rid of the shape so I'm just going to select my two uh, layers and I'm going to get my mask tool oh it's giving me shape again don't you hate it when that happens right so let's uh, select the first one and just mask around here like so like that and let's drop our moon uh, above it so uh, in between it shall I say and let's just get our first one hit F on the keyboard um, and just feather that out and as you can see we've got some harsh lines but we can play around with that in a second so let's just um, we can sort of bring it up like so and then we may need to animate the the, the movement of the ship to stay within um, our keyframe but that seems okay to me uh, which is good now we've got the harsh lines here um, as you can see uh, just around here so let's bring the feathering down a bit more the feathering down a bit more and let's press S on the keyboard and let's just scale that up and let's just uh, uh, bring this over to about there and let's just bring this just where our moon uh, starts off Let's just round preview that, make sure it stays uh, in the screen. Okay, so that don't look too bad. So let's just put our planet uh, thing uh, on top and it's S on the keyboard for that. And let's just scale that up just a bit. Let's get our second sequence, press S on the keyboard and scale that up just so we're um, filling up that uh, harsh edge uh, that we just had and now we're going to be uh, adding some effects which are uh, built into uh, after effects uh, shall i say so i'm going to go to effects i'm going to stylize wherever it is and i'm going to go to glow it's going to give a glow um on the uh, planet so i'm going to go on top of that i'm just going to punch the threshold up uh, just a bit glow radius just a bit and then go to original colors and B colors uh, select the top one and let's go behind 
and let's just select our color picker and just pick a point on the planet that we want let's bring our color phase around and bring our glow intensity up and that's just going to give us a nice glow uh, as you can see there and let's just play that and that looks uh, pretty pretty good now the only problem we've got is that as if you look carefully the Star Destroyer is see-through okay so we're gonna fix that now so we're gonna get this one and we're gonna control D uh, and duplicate that and now it should be a lot more harsher uh, so you can see the stars see so let's go and open this and bring our opacity down a touch and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our moon our planet and we're going to control and duplicate that as well uh, three times like so and that's going to give it a bit more of a harsher look and then we're going to get the top one and we're just going to uh, mask uh, around it like so press F on the keyboard feather up about 20 pixels and that should uh, look okay shut it off and that don't look too bad now all this you're you're obviously you're correcting uh, or you're fixing color correction when you add your co final color grade um, you won't notice uh, a lot of the stuff um, but as you can see we've got the starship moving look pretty pretty sweet so now we need to look for our tie fighter okay so we're going to drop uh one tie fighter in and um that is not the one i want it's got to find my png one that i did right so this is the png one and we're going to scale that right down and we're just going to put it in a position uh where we want our start uh, our, our fighter to start from and what we're going to do is we're going to control two more times control d one two so that will give us three TIE Fighters and we can just put them in sequence wherever you want on the, on the comp um, it's in basically entirely up to you so select the first one um, and then uh, hit uh, shift hold down press P on the keyboard this is going to give us a position uh, hit the stopwatch move it over until you get to about there and then get your TIE Fighters um, and drag them off the screen like that and then what that's giving you is the tire fighters uh, flying off the screen now to make it a little more interesting you can uh, um, select at one keyframe at a time and put these tire fighters in various order so basically what that means is they're going to move differently to each other like you just see and it's not going to be as boring like if they all move in sequence uh, but yeah that's just giving you a nice little um, sequence shall I say um, for the TIE Fighters I don't, I don't look too bad okay so we're still getting a bit of uh, see through on the old uh, ship so I'm going to open up transform um, I'm going to bring the opacity down on that and what we're going to do guys is we're going to add a blur um, to our X-Wing Fighters very very quickly our uh, little ships here so I'm going to select the first one uh, hold down shift and make sure they're all selected right click up to effects um, we're going to go to blur and sharpen and let's go to uh, uh, radial blur or let's go to yeah let's go to radial blur like so and it's giving it a nice blur um, and leave it at that and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure all three of our motion blurs are selected and switch motion blur on this can be a bit um, intensive on the old GPU but that's going to give you a nice um, blurred out right they're moving really really fast um, and you can reduce the amount of blur if you come up to here and just remove it down to about five percent and as you can see it's got a nice bit of uh, blur as the ship move ship moves shall I say and you can if you want to add a bit of motion blur to the actual Star Destroyer but I don't see the point in that I think it'll look a bit uh, crap to be perfectly honest uh, if you did that um, but this is not looking too bad so let's create a new adjustment layer okay and then let's just put that on top 
and then we're going to go to effects and we're going to go to curves sorry color correction and we're going to go to curves and this will allow us to play with the um, color correction um, if you want to do color correction in after effects it's entirely up to you uh, but it's going to allow us to uh, grade um, the footage sort of bring it down a bit so we've got like a really sort of nice sort of cinematic uh, look um, now it's entirely up to you how you want to color grade your your scene uh, but you can add quite a few uh, grades on this adjustment layer so we go to color correction you can go to uh, where is it hue and saturation and you can play with your hue if you, you just bring that down it's going to give you that more sort of um, uh, dead tone um, so it's not as colorful oh I didn't want to do that um, but when you take it into Premiere Pro or, or Final Cut it's going to give you a lot more options uh, for grading uh, when you've actually finished um, the actual uh, or finished what effects uh, you want within your production so that is basically it guys that is done and that is ready for grading it doesn't look too bad uh, at all uh, so that's basically it um you just play with the color grade as you see fit um, uh, during uh editing um and that's basically as easy as it's basically going to get and we've done that in less than 10 minutes so as always guys if you have enjoyed this quick basic star wars tutorial a like rating would definitely be appreciated um, there's more content coming to the channel uh, during the week, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got some more Star Wars advanced tutorials, including this bad boy. Coming next week. So as always, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.